Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Scheffler? Schiffler. Scheffler. Hey kids! Welcome to the Great Amazing Book Show. I'm in my reading corner right here by the giant bookshelf. I got some books. Those are all movies. Those aren't books. But those are books. And those are books and those are books. And There's a broom and they're on it. See? And this is not a scary, scary story. But if you want, when we're done reading, I will share the space squid. It's a puppet and I made it out of rubber and wire and tissue paper. So if you want to see a scary puppet at the end, I will show you the scary puppet. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Puffin Books. I don't know what to do with this extra pillow. I'll put it up there. For Natasha, Sabrina, and Jasmine. JD, that's Julia Donaldson, she wrote it. Look at that lady. She got red hair. Hey, ah, I have a brother with red hair, too, actually. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. She's making those birds nervous. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat. It's, it's rude to spit, but cats are known to do that when they're very, very angry. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat at its jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat on firmly down on her head, I am dog, as keen as can be. Ruff, ruff. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? That's not really the voice that dog would have, is it? I can't, I can't do a different dog voice. That's the dog voice. That's the dog voice. Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud. Ha! and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. There it goes. Where did it land? How will we know? Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked. Oh, I missed a spot. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, caw, 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 there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am bird as green can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and pfft, they were gone. And it started raining. That's thunder. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee. Ha, ha, ha! And the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand. But no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, Bruh. as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, Bruh. I am frog, as clean as can be. 
Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. That's how a frog jumps. Because they're all wet, so they make a sound when they land. The witch tapped the broomstick and... They were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. You shouldn't do that on a broomstick. The broom snapped in two. Did it break because the frog jumped up and down on it? Because that's not a very strong broom. And if you have a broom that will break when a frog jumps on it, you probably shouldn't fly on it. I've never flown a broom. But if I were flying one, I would make sure it was strong enough to hold a frog jumping up and down. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. Do you know what a bog is? A bog is like a swamp with less water and more mud. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am dragon, as mean as can be, and which with French fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. <laughs> cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. Maybe she could get help from that little bug. Or that bone. There's a bone there. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, or I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, and had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl, and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek. It dripped, and it squelched. As it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Imagine a frog, a dog, a cat, and a, and a bird screaming that together. Buzz, Buzz off! off. That's, That's my witch. witch! The dragon drew back, and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake! It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Bye. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and, Phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. Is that the bone? That's the bone from before. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose... <gasps> A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. The pool is stuck in the crack of the book again. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and... They were gone. 
We do hope you've enjoyed this great, amazing book show. And if you'd like to listen to further titles, subscribe and continue to enjoy more of these fascinating stories. Thank you.